Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. So tonight, we are going to talk about the Cambium EPMP Force 180, 180 radio uh, bridge in a box kit. So what this is, is this is a pre-configured bridge. You take both of the units out. There are two units inside this box. You take them out. You plug them in uh, to your network. You get line of sight on you know between the radios, and you've got a an instant running point to point bridge. So they give you a few ideas, some of the applications that you can use it for, you know, to extend your LAN, extend your Wi-Fi. Um, and then in the box there are two complete radios that are pre-configured. You get PoE power supplies. It is uh, passive PoE, and then you get the pole slash mast mounting bracket. On the back of the box it shows you that uh, they recommend up to 10 miles on the usage of this. Uh, it can use the EPTP proprietary protocol or optional Wi-Fi mode. If you do use the EPTP proprietary protocol you will get a longer range and you will get lower latency and better performance. Um, it can um, Let's see. Oh, it's uh, outdoor IP55 uh, rated. The antenna is 16 dBi, and the pole mount uh, supports poles 1 to 3 inches in diameter, and it uses um, AES-128 data encryption. Over here, they've got a little, a little uh, bar chart that they show you that if you're using this in line of sight, uh, based on your range, what kind of throughput you should expect. So if you are at the one mile mark, you should expect 200 megabits of throughput. Out to 11 miles, 11.4 miles, you could expect 20 megabits of throughput. So in this video, I'm going to show you the devices, take them out of the box, show you the devices, and this is kind of an introductory video, and then in further future videos, uh, I am actually getting a tower, thanks to my friend Tim, so we'll have a tower, and all this stuff that I get to show you is actually you're going to get to see us mount it on towers, how we, you know, trench the cable in or attach the cable and all of our power setup, and so you're going to get to see this stuff running in the real world on a tower, and I'm very excited about that. So I uh, should be getting the tower in just a, a couple weeks. So when you open the box, you're going to get a, a few things. You're going to get the radio. You're going to get the radio. Um, you're going to get the pole uh, mount that goes on the back of the radio and then you're going to get a big hose clamp and then you're going to get a PoE injector. And it's different than some of the other PoE injectors you've seen here. It's a little, it's a little longer, a little sleeker. It's a gigabit uh, PoE, and um, you know it, it's an, it's actually a nice adapter. But these are passive, so this is what the unit itself looks like. If you can see that or not, this is the uh, Force One Eighty radio. So I've got this guy plugged in and powered on. You can see uh, over here we've got power and then we've got our connectivity. Uh, over here you've got your FCC labels. Inside there you've got an Ethernet connection and you have a reset button. On the front of the radio it's got the Cambium Networks logo. It's got this little leash to keep you from losing the uh, the cover for the compartment. And thanks to my friend Dennis Pillow, who got tired of me describing the size of things using edge routers in my hands, we now have an official H5 Technology LLC measuring tool. He sent this to me in the mail, so thank you, Dennis. So if we measure the radio, the radio is 10 and a half. I don't know if you can see that or not. The radio is, it's, you have to take my word for it here. This is clunky. The radio is uh, it's actually uh, 10 inches long, and it should be, let's see, 
about five inches tall and about two inches thick. So they, they don't have a real big uh, footprint. So, you know, you should be able to drop these guys in, get line of sight, and get it up and going. And the whole point of this is, is if you don't want to mess with these, if you don't want to have to mess with the configuration, you take these guys out of the box, you plug them in, put them up, and you should be good to go. So uh, Cambium's got some really good engineers on their team, so I'm, I'm sure these things are configured properly. Now, we're going to look at the web interface real quick. We're not going to dig into the web interface in this video, besides a quick overview. Uh, we are going to uh, have future configuration videos to kind of fine-tune this to uh, change some of the defaults and things like that. But let's uh, hop over real quick. Uh, here's the, I'm going to put this Amazon affiliate link down in the description. Uh, street price on these are $399.99, and right now you can pick this guy up for $349.99. So... Uh, if you use the affiliate link, it doesn't change your price at all, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel. It's always appreciated so we can keep things coming in. Full disclosure, Cambium did send this to me, but they've, they're not telling me what to say. I am testing this and giving you my own honest thoughts and opinions on this. So uh, I checked out my DHCP table and found that uh, after I dropped uh, these into the network, I only have one of them plugged in because I didn't want to create a a bridging loop. Uh, the bridge came right up and it's connected. So I've got one connected at 66.166 uh, .166 and then one at 66.175. So I've got the 175 pulled up here, your default username and password. And this is why we're going to spend some time going through the config later is admin admin. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I tell you only use that in the lab and then I probably wouldn't even use it there. You'll see me using the videos. It's because a lot of times people stumble onto my videos, and um, if they're looking for some of this out-of-the-box quick stuff, I, I use those passwords, and it is the lab. But uh, if you get into my, my lab outside of these videos, I'm not running the default passwords, and you shouldn't either. All right, so 66.175, you can see the Ethernet status says gigabit or 1,000 megabits full wireless up. So that means that this is the side that we have wired into our Ubiquiti switch. Um, up here it says that we've got one active user logged in, that we have internet connectivity. There are three notifications. It wants us to change our default SNMP read-only community string. And it is also, there's a notification about the power output for the 5 gigahertz band. And we can close these clear them, close them, and then we've got, <laughs> they keep popping back. So I don't know if we've got to accept something for that or not. Um, and then you've got a save button. I don't know if this is an undo button. You've got a reboot, and then you've got the user over here. So here in the middle, we've got uh, device name. We've got our SSID, our operating frequency, the channel bandwidth, our transmitter output power, antenna gain, country, access point mode, and this is all stuff that we're going to go over in another Cambium Networks video in, in the follow-up to this once we deploy this in a real scenario. Over here we got our wireless Mac, our Ethernet Mac, our IP, date and time, that needs to be adjusted, how long it's been up, description, uh, coordinates, so with a lot of the Cambium stuff has had GPS sync for a long time, uh, DFS status, is in-service monitoring. So DFS, the short and long of that is uh, radios that can operate in the frequencies where radar uh, operates. There are certain rules about how they have to operate in that. And so when you see DFS, think about radar. We've got uh, registered subscriber modules over here. So we've got one. And then over here, we've got all of our other tools. We've got a performance monitor. So we can see everything that's going on here. We can look at our subscriber module statistics. And this is fantastic. Uh, we can take a look at the system, the wireless. And look at this. We've got 100% downlink quality and downlink capacity. And we should have because these devices are sitting like less than 24 inches apart. We've got a throughput chart. Nice little chart here. And of course, I'm not pushing any data through this yet. 
We've got your network configuration. We've got our system log. And then under tools, um, you've got a backup, restore, and e-detect, spectrum analyzer, automatic channel selection, e-align. So that's pretty cool, right? Wireless link test. I don't know if it'll work without anything plugged into the uh, plugged in the yeah. So uh, uplink, downlink. These things aren't even pointing at each other. You got our ping. We've got our trace route. So like I said, we're going to go over this interface in more uh, depth in the next video. So real quick, let's hop over to the other radio, which is this guy right here. And when we log in, we're going to see kind of the, the same screen. Over here, though, we're going to see Ethernet status down. That's because there's nothing plugged into the data side of the PoE. We've got our same familiar notifications up here. Um, under Tools and Monitor, we've got the same stuff that we're going to get into in the next video. But as you can see, I literally took this guy, these radios out of the box plugged them in and everything came up. They grabbed a DHCP address and the bridge is up. I have absolute 100% confidence that if we took this and we mounted it on a building that it would work. In fact, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be mounting. We're going to mount them inside first, uh, room, room to room, and then we're going to move them outside. So in the next video, we're going to go over, you know, the interface and get familiar with the Cambium Network's interface. And then we're going to take these guys and we'll, we'll, uh, modify some of the settings like the default username and password uh, i don't know if on the wpa key if they roll those or if they use the same wpa key in in all the loads on these but we'll change it you know just in case and then we'll take these things and we'll move them outside so that's it, it really i mean 349 bucks you want a bridge and you don't want to have to mess with it buy one of these drop it in now I know some of you are going to say, well, you can do this with other gear too. You can't. But this is specifically meant uh, for this purpose. And Cambium has really smart engineers, really good engineers. Um, other companies have awesome engineers too. So I'm not trying to take anything away from any other company. Um, but uh, Cambium, you know, specifically designed this to be a bridge in a box. You take it out, you drop it in. And it's just going to work, and that's what it does. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please click that little bell thing that's floating around down there so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Please use the Amazon affiliate links down there. They don't change your price. They just kick a couple bucks to the channel to uh, you know keep some of the gear rolling in. I've got some uh, kind of holiday special gear I'm going to show you in a few upcoming videos. And as always, I want to thank you for being here, and we'll see you in the next video.